So how you doing guys and welcome back to another Monday live stream and today we're here at Competition Boats Manufacturing Plant. We got Manny that he's going to tell Manny. us more or less more or less on the boat and uh, if you have any questions we're going to do a little you know um, Q&A and then if you have any questions go ahead we'll you know we'll start answering them as we go. We're going to so yeah you want to jump right into it you want to give the notifications no, no. yeah? Oh yeah yeah well, I'm, I'm, we're going to wait a little bit to everybody log in because Normally it takes uh, you know like a, a few like a minute a few minutes for people to log in, so we're gonna do that. So um, all right, so let's talk about uh, what sizes you have. Twenty five and thirty one. Thirty five and boom. Thirty one and thirty one. Oh, twenty five and thirty one. And uh, you consider yourself uh, like uh, what type of boat? Uh, more to the fishing industry. More like fishing. More hardcore. Um, and uh, more to the. But we do custom boats completely for our families and everything with a lot of seating. Okay, yeah. cool. So let's say, I'm going to cut you off. Let's say I want to go ahead and uh, place a boat. Basically, you're going to, whatever I told you, not whatever I told you, but like, I want 10 rod holders, I want a coffin box, all that, you do custom. That is provided custom. Okay, cool. And then you're located where? You, in East Hialeah. You want to go ahead, you have an address or like that, oh, and the phone number, just in case. 305-753-2397. Competition boats, 4500 East 10th Lane. I'll put, it, I'll put it in the chat for you guys. Okay, and let me see another question. And then I noticed you got different colors. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we have another boat back there. And this one's, it's Joko, right? Or paint? Joko. Joko. Only do Joko on any marine plant unless they take the boat outside and do all grip or Emron after the fact, racing boats, but it's done with Joko. Okay, Joko. And what, what's, what's the benefit between Joko and paint? Well, it's just the process that goes into laminating over Joko. It sticks and adheres to the laminate. You can't do that with auger. Oh, okay. So basically, you how does it work when you... When, we don't have a picture of the mold, but basically, how does it work? You got to spray on the Joko before you start laying the fiberglass? So how does Correct. it work? You come, you wax the mold. It's like if you were cooking, you come spray Joko when it's tacky enough on a certain time frame. And a scale, you use a scale always, let's say an hour. Oh, it okay. takes to cure, but we touch it, it's tacky. You start first layout with a uh, three quarter. With the, oh, the fiberglass. Nah, right? correct. Yeah. And I got a question because I worked with fiberglass before and I noticed it kind of dries kind of quick if I guess you don't mix it right, but you have. Depends on the scale and on the table. There's two different types of MEK one for cold weather, one for the summer, and depends on the mixture you're using. Oh, that's, cool. that's why that you have to go by a schedule and a table. Oh, and if you're using a machine, the machine does that for you. Oh, 1.25, one, one three quarter, one and a half, two point oh, and it mixes for you depending on the time frame of day. Okay, that's cool. Temperature and season. Okay, so let's go to the audience. Anybody has questions? Well, let's, uh, let's, let's, a lot of shout outs. Uh, we got John Dell Adams. He says, what's up? Um, we got people just saying hello to you guys. Good morning, friends from Tuscan, Arizona. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Uh, let me morning. see. We got David. He says, good afternoon from uh, Opa Opapaka. Opapaka, Florida. Opapaka, yeah. Let me see. We got uh, uh, from Arizona, another Arizonian. <laughs> Arizonian, is that a word? <laughs> so let me see. Uh, what's up? What's up, Fresco? What's going on? I put the phone number up there for you guys. Or just in the chat room, if you guys want to know and have our questions regarding yeah manufacturing market. boats. Yeah, I put the phone number on there. Again, it's 305-753-2397. Competition boats here in Miami. And as far as questions, uh, <laughs> they're just being silly. Goes, can you make it with 50 rod holders? Yeah, <laughs> whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, we'll put 100 if you want. Make it with, right, 60. No. That'd be cool. Um, let me see another question. So, all right. So, what about life bait workers? I noticed some boats have it in the back, have it in the middle, so on the floor. What it'll be on the transom, and it'll be on the leaning post live one. We don't do the floor in live one anymore. Oh, you guys don't do that anymore? No. Okay, so what, like a fish box? No, it just takes up the space for the gas. So oh, okay. Do it no more. Well, talking about gas, how much fuel do you normally put on a boat? On um, the 25 footers, 159 gallons. Okay. Because of the EPA, it used to be 182 and it dropped down. Oh, okay. On the 31 footer, it's 116 and 169. as oh. dual tanks. Okay, I got a question. You being the manufacturer, uh, you know how I see some boats in the sandbar, I got 20 people on there. Um, I mean, do you have like a rate limit for the amount of people? Correct, depending on the size, beam, and draft. Oh, okay. So, for example, the 25 carries more or less... 12 to 15 people. Oh, that's good, that's good. Well, here's another question for those guys just re uh, joining us right now. A uh, main question that Fresco asked, and but they're asking here again, what's the difference between uh, 
What, what's better, basically, gel coat or paint, in your professional opinion? Well, the way that it comes out of, of the manufacturing plant is with gel coat. Well, my opinion, the only reason people want to paint more with Emron or all grip is because they fix and they don't have to sand five times. The amount of times oh, you have to okay. come down and sand. The good thing about Joko, I can get it, scratch it with a screwdriver and I can fix it right now. You cannot do that with Emron all oh, yeah, because it shows the bottom. It's like a car. You have to paint the whole panel. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. So, cool. here's another question. But the, the problem is it's faster to do it with all group and Emron. You come sand, paint, and clear. Oh. You can't do that with Joko. Yeah, a bigger yeah. process. Oh, okay, that's cool. So, just in a nutshell, what do you suggest? Is well, no, I no, don't he, suggest he, it. Yeah, it has well, to, it yeah, has to right. be. Yeah, he, well, he well, Joe, got it. Yeah, he's there ain't no way I could do it. Now, this customer crashes or the boat is 20 years old and he wants to repaint it, more than likely 80% they're going to augur it because it's cheaper. Oh, okay. Got it. So let's say if I want to come with a boat black, since I like black boats, you'll do Joko black. Or, All right. or not white. Okay, so. Okay, so I yeah. laugh because we don't do dark colors. Oh, you don't? No, you can see everything on it. Well, I didn't know that, so it's better so to be black, white. So we try not to do all, try to oh, convince our oh. customer at all to not to do Oh, so you go with the lighter colors. Oh, okay. So right. here's a good question from Miami Salt Lights. Do you guys have uh, stock or, or only special order? Only on order. Only on order. Yeah, so, yeah, okay, only on order. And then talk about order. And it, because we're so small that you can't have 10 boat city. Oh, okay, okay. That's for more production boats like blah, 2,500, blah, 1,500. <laughs> yeah, I got They you. have production yeah okay yeah. so um, i don't know if you guys want to take a few questions some pretty good questions on here yeah, go ahead, uh, ahead. big guru uh can they provide side bow thrusters on a on there on a 25 boat on 25 foot boat it's never been done nobody's ever asked nobody's that. been done yeah you gotta you gotta take driving school i'm just kidding <laughs> no it's just because of the money nobody asked for that on that size boat i've i've never Honest opinion, I've never seen it on a 20 something foot. Yeah, me neither. Usually the bigger, yeah, the bigger boats. Even on my 31, I've never done it. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, you guys, we're getting a lot of love from Tahiti. We got people from Tahiti watching. Uh, saludos. El canal de Fresco. Un saludo a toda la gente. Saludos, los amigos. Uh, gracias por el cariño. Los mensajes que tenemos aquí. Hi Ali en la casa. Uh oh. We're, we're actually we're in Hi Alia today. We're in Hi Alia. We're right there. <laughs> saludos a Puerto Rico. Uh, Puerto Rico's on here. Let me see who else. Okay, so now any more questions? Yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, yeah, manufacturing questions yeah. or both questions. He makes these uh, boats fully custom from beginning to end, right? Correct. Color, right. interior. Uh, my question is, what what type of power um, do you know? Not normally, but what customers tend to buy, like since you're fishing. Well, here we've done more Yamaha, but if I do Suzuki's, Merc, Honda, E-Tech, whatever they want. Okay, so for example, if I want to buy a boat. Uh, I come to you, I, I guess, oh yeah, talk about, you. not you, but do you have banks? The package you... will start with Yamaha, and that's how they start. But I have a lot of customers, I have a boat like their 31 for SP in Texas, and he has 400 Mercs R that everybody has seen oh, on yeah. all their blogs and stuff like that. Oh, so that's cool. So, okay, right. so you have any choice of power? Whatever the customer wants. Have you ever done any with triple since everybody's going crazy? I had the boat here last week, I did it. I've done with triple 300 Yamaha. Okay, since I like speed. But it's not a common stuff. Oh, it's not a common. We'd rather do four, two 425s or three or two 350s. Oh, okay. Or two 400 R's or two 450s. Oh, yeah, that's true. So yeah. That, that was a good question because right when you guys got into the engines, there was a question on here, you know, what, what, uh, you know, what are the brands you guys use on engines? So right when they asked that question on the chat room, you guys went right into that. Right. So that yeah, cool. so that was good. So I guess you, he has any choice, any choice that you want. So going back, so for example, if a person doesn't have all the money, you, not you, but you have companies that you work with. Is there the finance? Offers, yeah, finance? we do. We provide finance. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's, that's nice to know. And that includes more, well, I guess the whole package, right? Correct. Or there's a different way of doing it. I've done this with customers. They pay for the boat and finance the engines through Whatever that manufacturer's company. finance. Oh, oh okay. okay that's whichever cool. brand engine it is. Oh, okay. That, that's so cool. there's a lot of engine questions going on here. Um, okay. So basically, what's the biggest engine you can put on or have you ever put on on, on one of these outboards? On the 25? 25 to 200 okay. or 1350. Oh, okay. okay. Or even 1 400, depending on the weight ratio. Yeah. But Two two hundreds is what we try to max out. I got I got a question now. They're talking one or two. If yeah, like a twenty five. That's all. Like a common boat here. Like a common boat here. Uh, what do you suggest is better driving wise? Like a person that's not a good, I'm not say like a good driver, not an expert boater. What do you recommend? Two motors or one motor when it comes to driving and docking? No, but I don't. Uh, well, that's hard. 
Because obviously it depends think, on the personal experience. Personal experience, I would think twins is easier than one and two. Okay, yeah, because that's a question I get. And I always say twins because you My really, personal experience, yeah. I would say it's easier to dock with twins than yeah, the same. Yeah, so uh, that's true. Um, but it doesn't, that doesn't make the sale or the customer buy. Yeah, that's true, okay. Um, I don't know if this is like a, a thing or not, because remember, I don't know too much about boarding. I'm actually getting educated at the same time, so I don't, I don't think there's any stupid question. Feel free to ask any question you guys want. Here's a great question here uh, from Arizona. How do you, I guess, uh, take care of the gel coat so it, wasn't, so it doesn't dry up, especially like in Arizona, someplace really dry? It has his own way of taking care of the gel coat by glossing and waxing and, take, you know, having twice a year maintenance on it. Oh, so it's like a you. car. Okay. So like a wax, like a good wax. wax. What, what do you, what, what do you, not brand, but like, what do you recommend as a good uh, Joko protector? Like, I mean, oh, that, that, there's a million brands. Also, oh, just uh, anyone that says. Yeah, I don't want to shout out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Only if they but pay. There's, us. No, but there's a million brands. Right? So as long as it says Joko, you come buff out and you cover wax. Okay. So as long as long as it's for Joko. And you coat right for what for for, for Joko. There's a million. There's yeah, because you can't use a car one for a, for. A you could also. Uh, but I figure salt water might. Dilute well, the weathering is different. Well, yeah, that you're absolutely right. There's made specifically. So, okay, so make sure it says for, I guess, marine use. Right, so, which so, will be from a marine store or, oh, or okay. a marine product. Oh, okay. Here's a question from James Baxter. He says, what causes cracks in your hall and how do you prevent them? Well, that's spider. hard. That's regular wear and tear. That's yeah. wear and tear. Well, cracks meaning spider cracks or big cracks? So let, let us know, James, I'll be a little more specific. Specific on what kind of cracks you, you're talking about? Yeah, um, because spider crack is one thing, and I guess and a crack crack is yes, another thing. Yeah. And I, I, from my experience that I hear talking, normally with a crack crack, a frame crack is because usually it's like a bubble or something in the or an air void there that yeah, happens to everyone. Yeah, right. yeah that's not something you can avoid because you remember you're handling this stuff. A lot of people are asking, uh, or like, even on vacuum. Well, it'll, vacuum. It'll be awesome. There's a lot of good questions on here. A lot of people are very interested. Let everybody know your address and where you're located. Competition boats, East Hialeah, 4500 East 10th Lane. We're in the middle of Miami or the city. Yeah. yeah. And then if you have any questions and maybe you're interested in this boat, you have any videos or anything? On YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah, follow uh, these guys on, on Instagram too. Right. Yeah, what, what is it on YouTube? Uh, uh, competition boats? Competition boats on Instagram. Yeah, just follow. look it up. So Google on it. their websites, competition boats. <laughs> I don't bye, even bye, know bye, that. Bye, no, bye, but bye. it's good though. I do have Instagram and I do have. Oh, yeah. um, he's, so, he's so busy making balls, he don't got time for. And mine is run by. Yeah, he has a Mike Grimm, real report. Yeah, he's, that's why I don't answer questions from there or nothing like that, and I apologize. But you guys can see his work. It's com It's on uh, Instagram. It's competition boats, and it's, if you guys want to see his website, it's competitionboats.net. All right, dot net. Okay, guys. Yeah, um, you guys can look at that. Here's a. Here's a and quick. text their e or or text or call. Don't email. Right. So it's harder for me to sit on a computer to answer stuff. Yeah, He's old school. Yeah, we're old school. Yeah. Old school. Old school here again. Hi, He's like a boat maker. All right, sit this out. So Anthony Perez is asking, uh, when are stabilizers recommended? Trim tabs, if that's what he's talking about, that's always recommended. So, okay. Engines have gotten bigger, 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 and the boat has seen the same. When you keep the same style boat and you don't adjust to the market, so you need tabs to push the... Here's another great beginner. I'm sorry. Here's another great beginner question. Jose, uh, Jose Lewis Bianco is asking, uh, what's the best engine size for a 20 foot, four, uh, 20 foot boat, 24 foot boat for a beginner? Like somebody who's just getting into boating, what's a good you size? You never want to underpower 300 horsepower. You never want to. Whatever under brand it is. You don't want to put a 225 because you think you're a beginner and then you're going to be always yeah, stressing yeah, that engine, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because people get a little misconception and think more horsepower wastes more gas. And I think, Not absolutely. Yeah. Smaller horsepower pushes more. Yeah, than so you gotta work power. harder. So yeah. So let me see. Um. So basically, roughly, let's say in a good, on a, like on a construction, right? On a twenty-five footer, we take four to six weeks, depending on weather, you depending on the, the guys, depending on the amount of employees that you have. The more oh. employees, the more you can produce. There's supposed oh. to be a table to leave the whole certain amount of days inside its mold. Oh, okay. On that piece, oh, and okay. we follow that. Oh, okay. So you can't. You shouldn't. Bring out a boat every day. There's people that have, and there's people that might still do that. Oh, okay. But you shouldn't bring a boat out in two days. You know, resin still cures, and the whole process still cures after the fact that you pull that boat out of the mold. Oh, and talking about the mold, you use no wood. Everything. No wood. Since I started, foam, foam. And polyurethane was already available, and I never used wood. So that's actually good because it actually makes the boat lighter, so it wastes less gas, right? In a way, but some people like weight. Some people do want weight on their boats. There's thicker and more density. 
uh, foam that compensates for the weight difference, and um, and that's how you do that. But you know, a lot of people, uh, the way to go is with foam. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. what I was gonna say, what happens is also that boat will last 30 years. You're never gonna get a rot on the floor yeah, on any other manufacturers. You're never gonna get a rot on the cap. You're never gonna get your transom to rot. Yes. Yeah, okay. That's true. That's true. So that's this is all good information. He does quality work, and a lot of people are asking. Like for example, Mr. Thirty Carry is asking. Um, I think I know the answer because we spoke about it before we went live. What are the price ranges for the boats that you're manufacturing? Mine on a 25 footer single, anywhere from 90 to 135. Twin, 119 to 145, give or take, and then on the 31, 139 to 169. But it depends on all the electronics and stuff. Always is going to depend on what the customer is going to put. Yeah, I guess the best thing, call them up. What's the phone number again? It's 305 753 2397. Yeah, because all it depends on electronics, size motor, and, and stuff that like changes, that. and the yeah, engines so. keep on going up. And yeah, some customers want 12 speakers, some customers want one GPS, some customers want two GPS. Yeah, so that's something autopilot, you... uh, radar that's all going to come into play. Yeah. So the prices yeah. go uh, yeah. according thousands. to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That, what is the definition for boat? Uh, put out another thousand. There it goes. That's the definition for boat. But that's cool. So if you guys have any question or even interested in this product, go ahead, give him a call, and you know he gladly answer your questions. Uh, and let's talk about the thirty-one, because uh, it seems. Show. Um, I'll follow you guys. Yeah, you, All right. you, so check no, this you out. Just take a picture. So look, I'm gonna grab the camera. I'm gonna follow these guys around the boat. So that means I might have to step away from the um, chat room. So I'm gonna walk around to show you guys. Yeah, let, let, let's go. Let's go look at the thirty-one because I, I kind of like it. It's nice. I like the color. Definitely the color. Cause I'm a I'm a color person, <laughs> but it's cool. I like I like the hard top. I don't know if you guys could see it. Yeah. Well, let me ask you a question. Now that I see that radar, what is the difference? Well, may, maybe you know, maybe you don't. What is the difference between the big that spins around and the little box? Right. It's called a, a dome and an open array, and they do 18 and 24 miles. And price is not the biggest difference. But once you got, start getting into this, the yes. way that the radar works is to a different level. Oh. Okay. So you want a 4KW, 6KW, 12KW. Oh, okay, okay. But so that, that reaches and the way that that it performs, it it sees better than a than an eighteen dome. Oh, I got that. And actually, now that I notice you have a hard top, what what other styles do you offer like for the hard top? Regular or, or canvas top. The boat starts off like that with that option. Oh, okay. It's a regular canvas top, but I take care of the mm -hmm. customers, and they all jump to the hard top. Oh, okay, okay. You were Ninety-nine percent of my boats right. leave with a hard top. For it, me. You were right. talking about uh, white and colors. This one has a great color on. it. It's like a, what is it called? Baby blue or what is it called? Let's call it blue. 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 <laughs> blue? Okay. No, because it has the name of another brand or whatever. Brand. Yeah, oh, yeah, funny. Got it. Got it. Got it. So that's 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 a, that's a very that's a, this is a thirty-one. Thirty-one, and we've done it a couple of times. This is a specific customer on his second boat with me from Texas. Oh, from so this Texas. boat is from Texas. Oh. Oh, from there Texas. you go. So oh. there you go. So I guess you ship United, well, yeah. not you, but you ship companies that ship throughout the United States. Correct. There's transport companies that take from all the way to Boston, everywhere up north to, to California. So oh, okay. where their customers at? That's very. At the beginning, I used to transport for them. I still transfer for the guys that want me to transport it, but more than likely they're going to get a transport own. company. Oh, gotcha. So guys, listen. He does. He's not. He doesn't only just do service local. local. Tell no, them. not service. No, he does. Man, he, uh, uh, manufacturing. We sell. Yeah, sell. So we sell. Yeah. 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 Any of the states. We have a lot of Texas viewers, so just let let everybody know where you you know. Service. I guess on the website. I love Texas because that's where I go hunting. So. <laughs> there you go. It's my favorite. <laughs> but we do. We have a, a whole bunch of boats in Texas. We got Georgia. We got Louisiana, Alabama. We got all the sister states: North Carolina, Boston, Jersey, so New York. We'll build your boat here in Miami and send it on their way. Yeah, not, All a, right. bad, not a bad thing. That's, no, cool. That's, that's cool, that's cool. Let's go back to the questions. We're gonna go walk to the to the spot again so because we wanna take questions and really can't see it's too little on the on the phone. But let me know, you know, let me know the question from me or him, you know, he can answer you if you have any building questions. And sorry for the moving around, because normally I don't move around, but we're moving around today because there's, a lot, there's a lot of things to look at here. And let me know, by the way, too. We let want me to know, show you guys. Yeah, want, let me know how much do you guys like this uh, mobile uh, Monday stream also. Uh, because you know I'm trying to work on other things too, so let me know if you guys really like that. But you know, go ahead. Let's take some questions on the manufacturing boat. All right. So basically, uh, I need to help. Okay. So Lazaro Garcia is asking, uh, let's go. I need help removing my damage decal sticker. If you guys, is it is it every day at the well, same Kenny time? Kenny Velez says there was a little freeze frame. Let us know if uh, the footage is all right. You guys 
Are yeah, because we... if I look at it, it's to me it's still rolling. All right, we're still we're back. We're back. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. It's just the weather here. If you guys notice, I think it's a hurricane, well, tropical storm coming, and it's gonna mess up Labor Day. Hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully it turns. But well, you know, I can't, you can't control Mother Nature. So we're gonna take some questions. Go Here's a good question, S. Sweeney. Hey, do you guys specialize in aluminum boats like the ones in New Zealand? No. <laughs> no, I didn't think so. But I, I just wanted to put it out there. We got, you know, it's a good question. Actually, I, I got a question. You ever shipped out of the United States? No. Well, that was Australia. 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 Puerto Rico. Wow. Yeah. There you go. I got a lot of Puerto Ricans that follow me. So if you guys like the boat, go on his website. And uh, they do ship. Yeah, there, they do ship. There's a shipping question as soon as you said that. You're like in tune with your fans here. <laughs> so Mike G's asking, how do you charge for shipping on the boat? You know, like from Florida per foot, for weight, by miles? Oh, like, that, that I guess you have From my to. experience, what they've done, they charge the gallons, whatever the gallon is at, by mileage. That's an average. Oh, okay. So you're a thousand miles at three thirty nine. You're gonna owe thirty five hundred bucks. Oh, okay. okay. I see. Oh, well, you can't call me on that. You gotta call. Yeah, the you gotta just call yeah. the shipping company. It has nothing really to do with him. Wow, lightning. Lightning. Trailer, everything, right? Correct. Okay. We rig up electronics, music, lighting, engines. Put it on the trailer. Which oh. that was my next, my personal next question. Uh, we, are, we, we understand that you build custom from beginning to end electronics that you also provide that to. It's, I don't start it in the package because every customer has a different need and a different want and he chooses what he wants from me. Cool. So he could choose brands and he could choose sizes and money is a factor. And you don't, and just to be clear. Budget, some people don't want to waste the whole right. Some yeah, people yeah. don't want, they just yeah, want they, a they have 12 a speakers. Yeah. They don't want two amps. They want four speakers like a car stereo. Right. And just to, to be clear, you you you, man, uh, you build the boats, you don't service them. Well, I service my home boats back. Home, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. So, oh, okay. So, uh, that's not Then need junk or repair if it was an air void from here from the company, or an air house or something from the manufacturer. I will take care. Oh, okay. Of it. Talking about manufacturer, what is your warranty? Ten year, three year transferable. So it's so if in a year you sell the boat, the other guy gets two years. Oh, okay. That's cool. Oh, if right. you keep the boat 10 years, you've got 10, 10 years. years. If you keep it 15, you had 10 years warranty. Okay, and that's only the fiberglass. Don't I know that I want to put out there, and this comes from me. You know, a lot of people get a misconception on warranty. It's not like a car. We warranty fiberglass, whatever it's produced in the plant. Everything yeah. else has its own warranty. Yeah, the radio. A lot of people have a misconception of that. And Blah has his own warranty. A yeah. rod holder has his own warranty. The T-top has his own warranty. Yeah, okay, all right. The cushions has his own so it's warranty. All the trailer has his own warranty. Yeah, yeah, because he's he's putting the boat together, but he's using other people's parts. You know, the so. manufacturer, not naming myself, all the manufacturers, they don't they, have warranty for that. Yeah, their own thing. Parts. Yeah, they have to. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so they but a lot of people product. come to me and I'll come and go. You got to No, you got to warranty my bilge pump. Oh yeah. Has, well, yeah. I'll help you out, but I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, that's fix not it. that's not your oh, product. Oh, that's not your product. So that's 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 something that you have to deal, I guess, directly with the manufacturer. Here's a great question too. Uh, Justin, Justin is asking, what's the dead rise of a 25 foot in the boat draft? 24 and a half degrees, 20. 18 inches, and it's an old school number that all the manufacturers knew that works. Oh, okay. You try not to go out of it. Yeah, you try okay. not to do 15, and you try not to do 32. Oh, okay. 24 and a half degrees. That's what it's worth. And around that number. Oh, okay. And then it depends on the size, scale of bolts. You got to change them a little bit. And, and but on these bolts, that's what's going to work. And I guess, like you said, that your most common one is 25. Well, that's what started me. So that's well, like mine. What? How do? How do you consider? What's well, right the, now, the big bolts are selling more than the smaller bolts. Oh, that's cool. So what? Like, what's the roughest you ever took it out in the water? Like, let's say. It's well, not me. A customer, maybe four to six, oh, three okay. to five, but. Oh, I mean, good. I try not to go out more than two to three. <laughs> oh, okay. Caddy man is asking, what's better, inboard or outboard? I mean, you go with technology. I'm always going to answer on a personal level. I'll, yeah, my I opinion. I won't do I'm an inboard, not even if they give it to me. Yeah, uh, we that's do a outboard. personal. Uh, my bolts choice. are not made to put inboard on. Oh yeah, that's true. I yeah. mean, you could do it with a straight shaft, but yeah. you got to hide the motor under the console, old school stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah. But everybody knows out there that they want speed speed and speed and no matter if they make a 600 horsepower people are going to put them on the boat yeah that's because they want to go from point a to point b in 10 minutes oh yeah L awesome. ludwig 24 fools asking base price on a 25 and haul price alone oh we don't do haul alone no 
What, what does it mean? Well, I guess I it, used to do it, but I don't do it for you guys, for the customers, because people were putting used parts on me. Right, so, and I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, so, so he's not because it. of me. I sell another boat. Regardless. I guess he had two questions. What's the base price on a two? The base price, ninety. It starts. And then, but With you don't do With a two fifty, and you start from there, and you start adding on. But he doesn't do hulls alone. Yeah, yeah, you have to, you have to uh, buy from him the whole complete package. You can get the simple bolt or the complicated with all, uh, I guess, bell, bells and whistles. We're at a halfway point. Uh, you're, I know we're, we're working right now. He's working. Do you want to take a second just to step aside? Do you want a second to step aside real yeah, quick? We'll yeah, ask a few questions. Yeah, because we're actually on the uh, shop, so he, he's going to walk away because he, like a few he has, the shop is still working. We just kind of interrupted his, uh, his yeah. job because he's It's all his fault, guys. Yeah, so blame me, but I'm trying, you know, I'm trying, trying this to do, uh, uh, the live stream so let me know oh and by the way now that i see my own shirt on the thing finally uh the people that order the product this week is coming to you because the shop's computer went down and it messed the up. bad weather over here yeah right. it's really bad here so I'm, i i know i haven't shipped you guys stuff but hopefully by today or tomorrow you guys are gonna have your product on the mail and just so just check your email it's coming hopefully you know this week because from here i'm running over there and so check your email Real to do that <clears throat> Real quick guys, also um, bear with us. I know that the video is lagging a little bit. It's because of the real bad weather. If you guys are familiar with the weather, keep up with the weather here in Florida. It's a tropical storm coming. So if it's cutting in and out, or you see the video lagging a little bit, bear with us. Um, and you know, we'll, we'll try to get all your questions answered. All right, all right I'm back. I'm so, back. All right, so he's <laughs> back, you know, because he is a working shop and then we're in working hours. So that's why he had to step away. Um, when is your shop open? Oh yeah, what's your what's your seven work? to three thirty, Monday uh, to Friday. Yeah, Monday yeah. to Friday, okay. But I customers know I stay late to meet them up here because they work just like all of us. So I'll stay to six, seven, eight if they're riding from West Palm Beach if they fly in. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Take this guy to lunch if you have a lunch. No, 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 no They love that. <laughs> they love the whole no, lot. So uh, competitionboats.net. I put in the chat room. .net. I'm also going to put his phone number in the chat room if you guys have any. Uh, you guys are interested in getting your boat custom made and stuff like that they, you don't have to be from miami as he said they build it here in miami and then they, they uh i guess i don't know ship, ship it yes yeah, right it. there's always going to be somebody out of state that wants a product on anything on, a, on yeah. a boat on a bike on a car on anything oh okay so just give him a call if you have any questions about anything just give him a call at the shop hey i'm just glad you answered your questions um so uh, oh you are notice since you're fishing you do offer the coffin box in the front right all right yeah the light load we talked about yeah the light that's bill. an option Awesome. Yeah, it doesn't come standard. Coolers, it doesn't come standard. Oh, that, that's good. Okay. The leaning post are options. There's aluminum come standard, and then you go into live oil attacker center with a slide out cooler. Oh, okay. Yo, so you could get really fancy if you wanted to. All right. And you yeah. go all gas. Man, you guys are on point with this. The questions are coming in while you talk about it. So there's another question. Justin is asking, uh, thanks. You guys are giving us good information. He goes, have you ever installed a sea keepers in your boats? And what's your opinion on them? Well, they work. My opinion is you could get them. It's just with my company, the price of the boat and the size of the boat. And the, I've never done one. I've been approached to do one on a 31, but the, you know, customers have not done them. I don't do them myself yeah, unless I, I they ask for it as an option. Yeah, but they yeah. do work and it's the way to go and it's the hottest thing right now. Yeah, yeah. If I guess if Especially you're, if you get dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> if it drowns me, it ain't helping C -C. you. <laughs> if it drowns me, it ain't helping you. Try a sea keeper. Yep. I never actually I've never been on a boat with a sea keeper. I guess it would be kind of neat to um to experience, I guess. Uh any more questions? Well, you're just getting a good you're getting a good uh review on here. He goes, yo, Mike, follow Mike on competition boats, Manny and the guys, they build great boats. Yeah, also, you, got local, that. you got local fans. You got local fans, they, they say they always hear good things about so the buzz in the neighborhood and the boat community says. Well, try, give me a chance and give me a couple of days to answer back always. Because I do I'm a, you know, the one person show, and I try to keep up with what I'm doing right now, the two, three boats that I'm doing here. So if I'm doing year six boat, you can't yeah. get mad at me because I don't answer your text or answer your right. email. Yeah, and it's give hard. them some time. Give right. them some time. But I always gonna come back. You could call me at night on the weekend, Monday to Sunday. He's ready for you guys. And actually, there's a question for you. For me. And this question <laughs> has been asked in the chat room by like two to three different um, followers. Are you gonna sell your old boat? Everybody wants to buy your old boat. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. Like I always tell everybody, is it is an old girlfriend that you don't know if you want to stop talking to or not? So I don't know. I I don't know. Some don't people know have a side chick. He has a side boat. I mean, I don't know. It yeah. happens in Miami. You know. <laughs> There's something I don't know. Something I don't know. What is? Uh, here's a question for you. Uh, Billy Sanders is asking, what is the best material to build a boat with? Well, fiberglass. Fiberglass. Fiber <laughs> material, but some people want to jump into 
and we could talk about this for days, carbon fiber and stuff like that, but it's just a mat and thickness of, of the other mats you're gonna use, like 3610, 1708, 1808, the 24 series, and it all depends on the manufacturer and what he wants to use and how much weight and the thickness he wants to give his product. And I got a personal question of my own because I like manufacturing bowls. I mean, I never done it, it's like a dream. What you just decided one day, get up, let's do this, I'm gonna do it no matter what. And I know you put 100% because you have to put 100% to anything to get accomplished. Now, my personal experience, it was just that I had a service company and oh, it would okay. die off at the end of the year. I wanted something more stable. Okay. Here, it doesn't matter if guys are not fishing in December, I still get paid, they still get produce oh, okay. through December, January, February, which are the worst months oh, okay. from my experience. Yeah. You guys have any questions? Um, you know, uh, to ask, and remember, there's no stupid question. Like, I mean, we're all learning here. I, I'm learning, every time I've been uh, to one of these live streams, I learn a lot, so I have no clue about the boat life. I learn so. every day, yeah. and I do here. There you go. So that's, a, that's a cool thing. And yeah, let me know if you have a question about manufacturing. Um, Let me see what else, let me see what I come up with. Um, I think well, you just got a question. Yeah, let come, me see, let me see. Did it come uh, up? Because I have- Just the, people saying what's up. I got people from, uh, let me see, McAllen from Philly. Uh, shout out Chris, Chris from Philly. What's up? 215 in the building. Yo, you ever been to Philly, by the way? Nope. They have, I went to this place called Gino's. Great uh, Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. Uh, so, I don't know if you guys have any questions. Follow it, follow uh, these guys, Competition Boats, on Instagram, okay? And their website, competitionboats.net. I put it in the chat room, it's .net. Yeah, you can go there and, uh, and, and check it out. And I noticed, I noticed your boat has a platform in the back. Correct. I, I stayed old school still, and I use a bracket. Yeah, because I remember before I got a question um, about the platforms. Do you? I mean, you have it on your boat, but is it more beneficiary or is? Be, I mean, how? What do you? Do you just I mean, like my, it? I'm always going to answer opinion, with my situation. personal yes. opinion, and I do think the integrated bracket looks yeah, above look. a regular yeah. aluminum bracket. But I just chose not to do that. My customers are based on that. They love the platform. They're more divers, they get more space. Yeah, I, I, me personally, I like the platform too. On the, I don't know, it feels, feels like you have There's more There's a water. major company out there, one of the biggest ones, and they brought all their models back oh, to, okay, to, the, to the platform. To platform, to the bracket, and I use them a lot as a reference when people do ask me that question here, where, why am I not with an integrated bracket? When am I gonna do my boats as an integrated bracket? For right now, that ain't gonna happen. Yeah, I mean, I, I, me personally, I like it. I think it's easier to access too, because you know, you don't have to go on through the boat, through the hall to get to the to the screws, whatever, or to the, the back. You, yeah, yeah so. a lot of people are feeling like you guys. Uh, Lou, uh, what is it? Ludy Wig says, yeah, big fan of the classic halls with the bracket. Thumbs up. Yeah. So let me see, David. Uh, let me see. David get up. Oh, uh, <laughs> David Garcia, but it looks like David. Yeah, he asked. Uh, he was the one that asked, does the does the top retract? The hard top retract, no. No, no. Because he, he was, I guess, no, that's fixed. fixed. Yeah, I mean. I mean, you can make breakables. Yeah, but I mean, here in Florida, like I said, I think your boat is low enough that you don't need it for the bridges. Correct. So I guess it's something that he don't, I guess he could offer it, but he doesn't have it now because he doesn't need it here in Miami. I, I guess. mean, I understand that question because I do have customers that have to wait for tight chains real up north. Oh, yeah, that's up right. oh, because, of the... because they do not clear the bridges. Oh, okay. Okay. That so was they a, gotta that was wait for tight question. changes because if not, the boat doesn't pass through. That was oh, a great question. Totally. You gotta really, this happens every time in the chat. I think it's really cool. Uh, uh, the Apex Legend is asking, hey guys, can you please give a happy birthday shout out to my brother, Nick Gurr. He's just a big fan. Happy birthday, Nick. Happy birthday, Nick. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Nick. brother. Yeah, have a, have, a, have a good, have a good day. Blessed day. Today, today is yeah. your special day. Yeah, and I got a question for you. Okay. Uh, how many horsepower does Fresco's boat have? Which one? The hydrous board or the... Oh, mine? Uh, 900. <laughs> 900. Uh, oh, yeah, talk about horsepower. You say you did bring one, a 31 with... Uh, what, triple 300s? How fast is that one, though? Oh, you haven't tested it yet. We propped that out, so it just... It maxed out on what we wanted it to max out. Oh, okay, because the guy was... Whatever you guys... He was a newbie on a triple engine boat. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so... It's conservative there so let's go down the list really quick for those of you guys just tuning in or you guys i know that the feed kind of stalled a little bit because of the lightning we had so uh, i'm just going to go down just give me the quick answer for these warranty 10 year three year transferable all right what is we always back our product up no matter always what back the even call me when when you're out of warranty there you go um what engines do you start with or what engines? yamaha yamaha but 
You yeah. can do it. We do anything. Suzuki, Smurfs, Honda, blah, 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 e tax anybody. Right. <laughs> awesome. Third one, financing. Is financing available? It's available always. We finance a good portion of our boats. If not, I would sell less. Okay. Joko or paint? Joko. Joko. Do uh, you guys install electronics as well? All day long. 99% right. of the boats, and I give them my price on that. And everything's custom? Every, almost everything, because it's everybody wants a different way of rigging their own boat. Yeah. So, so I would say yes, they're custom. Some guys get more raw holders, some guys get more speakers. Some guys don't get no raw holders. So it depends really on you guys' preference. So these guys do it all, competitionboats.net. The phone number is 305-753-2397. I'm gonna put it in the chat. Um, really nice boats, you get a thumbs up on that. Thank you. Uh, let me see, oh, what is it? Born on fire, it's your birthday too? Man, get out of here, man, it's not your birthday. <laughs> well, happy, I'm just playing, happy birthday to you, brother, too. Uh, happy birthday. Let me see, Twinkle, what's the, let me see, competition, uh, what is it? Whitewater and old contenders are very similar boats. All of them started from the same family. Everybody oh, okay. knows that. Right. That, was, that was a pretty cool question. So guys, uh, let's see, we're, we got about, about 20 minutes left. Uh, give us any questions you guys, just ask, ask. We're here, we're live, we're here to um, cater to you guys. Fresco Channel's doing this for you guys to, to educate the, the community out there. And um, if you have any questions for, for Fresco or the shop, just let us know. Yeah, the manufacturing, remember right now we're doing, we're at a competition boats manufacturing plant. So basically we're taking questions towards building boats. And if you want to order a boat, um, talk about boats, because a lot of people are maybe first timers that they haven't written a boat. Do you guys offer a sea trial? Yes. Okay, so and you have customers gonna ask for that. Oh, okay, okay. So you do offer sea trial. That's good. That's not something. I mean, we don't do it rarely. They know what it is. And, you know, it's been blocked out there, and during the years, everybody knows it. If the boat wouldn't ride, they, you know, somebody would post it. Yeah. But you, we do on occasion. They will ask for a sea trial. Oh, okay, okay. It'll make or break the deal. They'll say if we write a sea trial. And that finalizes. Oh, here's a day. here's a great question. David Garcia is asking: Do you make uh, custom room for scuba tanks? I mean, not custom room, but they sell rod racks, and we've installed them for customers either on the transom or on the coffin box, or on the side of the console. All oh, right, cool. that. yeah, oh, like, like the little bracket things that hold well, the tanks. Well, it's just white. They hold four tanks. Oh, okay, yeah. So yeah, they, they come could, on rails. Yeah, he could put it. So yeah, you know, so that was problem. that was a good question. Uh, Juan, we got a lot of questions coming in. Juan Wigo, how how can you bring back the shine on a gel coat once it's like kind of dried out? Is there any products out there? You know, I guess uh, a lot of Fresco channels, a lot of uh, boaters from Tuscan, Arizona, and the sun is really hot there and it'll be dry. What, what, Number so one, you cheat. If you go to YouTube, they're gonna show you how to do it. <laughs> Number two, there's a million products out there. Yeah. But it does have a lifespan. If you come into a boat and you've wet sanded it to the core twice, oh, yeah. that's it, you won't be able to bring it back out. Yeah, because you start going into it, the actual fiber. Right, right. correct. Yeah. But you, do, you could do that multiple times and depends on the wet sand. If you don't go coarse, if you go 1200 to 2000, you might be able to do that four times if the fabricator dumped oh. a lot of junk on gave it thickness. Right. Oh, okay. Okay, but cool. it could be brought out, and there's a million tubes oh, out man. there that sell products for uh, that. Twinkle Rod is asking a quick question Top speed on a 31 foot with 400s? Well, we haven't topped that out yet, and I got 68 the other day. 68. Oh, that's good. That's Friday. That's good. That's good. Um, I mean, I did twin 350s, and we got 68 yet. Riv is asking, what's the build turnaround time? Well, right now, on all my boats, is two years. Two years. On the 25, one and a half, give or take. Okay. Well, that's good. That's, um, that's good for you. Correct. Right. Really, no, but the whole that industry. Means it's a wanted product. That's the that's whole good. industry is like that. Everybody knows oh, that. Okay. So maybe this is a tough question. I'm not sure. Maybe it's something you might have to see physically or something. Uh, but PA600 is asking, uh, he's asking from Lansing, Michigan, how much should he expect to pay to have a, uh, a gel coat scratch fix? When it's four inches and one eight deep. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> that's, a, that's a deep cut. I can answer. That is all going to depend. And it's right. going to depend on the price might be higher up there because yeah. there's more guys doing that down here. Right. Yeah, so uh, that's really like, a, I guess, I'm a detailer, right? Or but I could go anywhere from 300 bucks to a grand. Yeah, yeah. It depends. Right. I mean, by average price here. So here's a personal preference question. They're asking, uh, they want your opinion. They already know his opinion. They want to know um, what's the best engine available right now. No, but I'm not going to comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's gonna, that's a tough question. Yeah, you know, but like, I put it everybody out knows what I like to use and yeah. what I do use and right. what my parking, my package starts off from. Yeah, right. I think it's like everybody has an opinion. Everybody has a choice. It's really. I did merch use. back there because a the customer loves merch. So yeah, I, I think yeah. Merch. yeah, I think it's just really the customer's choice. 
It's right. not really, it's like trying to compare like three cars. You yeah. know, one one might be more comfortable for you, but not for another person. Yeah. So I guess it's just you personal might, yeah, choice. Exactly. So I knew it was a tough question, but I had to put it out there because I got to stay loyal to the to Fresco channel viewers. All day. So S. Sweeney, he, I guess he's from all the different countries. He keeps asking about aluminum boats. I guess he's from New Zealand. But he, uh, I, I think you answered this earlier. Yeah, we do not do aluminum boats. <laughs> no, I, mean, no, I don't yeah. even know. No manufacturer in Miami that does aluminum yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think Unless it's, it's an airboat, and yeah. it's totally different. Yeah. Here's another question. Do you uh, recommend wraps, or do you do wraps, wrapping on a boat? No, we don't do wraps. No? I don't do them, but I have. Oh, you don't uh, Yeah, wraps? my oh. cousin has does, have oh. done it for me. Oh, that's cool. Right. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, there's customers that full wrap a boat. Oh, OK. They will come, or we do transfer name or side names. Oh, OK. Oh, yeah, oh. I do get that request on the boat back there. He's getting a transfer name. Oh, OK, that's cool. So uh, they're just asking where. Yeah, yeah. All right, so give it a beat. Sorry about that, guys. It's still raining here in Miami. So, oh, Hialeah. It's raining in Hialeah. Every so, day. So, yeah. So the connection is kind of bad. So sorry about that. Uh, so go ahead. If you have any more questions, so, let me know. Because we're about a question. Well, no, they, yeah, they were asking right before uh, the footage, before the lightning strike. <laughs> They're asking where are you located because a lot of people are getting interested. He's highly in the city of Miami. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna put it in the chat room. Yeah, just Google it. Competition boats. I mean you put you can put it in a GPS. Or you can call me. Yeah, or call call him. What's your number again? 305-753-2397. There you okay. go. So, um, there's a lot of people that are just tuning in that kind of jumped in a little late. I know you answered this question uh, two, three times already, but what's the starting base price on a custom boat with you guys? On the smallest one, ninety. Okay, so, but if you have more one more details go ahead and call him directly and like that he could because right now we're doing live just taking simple questions that's more like a maybe what kind of options you want so better just call him and then you know I'll put, tell you better, him I'll put the number on there you know better numbers on that um and let me see so with the, you said what's the, the the fuel um that you have on the tanks for the 25? 159 on the 25 so what range for basic, what range is? I know the Depending power. Depending on what the boat does, if it's twin 200 and it's doing two point plus, you multiply that times the amount of gallons. Okay, so, so let's say 2.8 times 159 gallons, and that's your range. Okay, so let's uh, say my 31 footer on the sweet spot, which nobody wants to go. <laughs> I mean, slow. The best spot for fuel efficiency, we average 1.8 times almost 280 gallons. That gives you. So if I'm thinking of like say I'm thinking 400 of going, plus range. So I'm thinking of going to Bimmy, I could get a 25, go to Bimmy. You right could be there the whole weekend to come back. Wow, one tank? On one tank. Oh, that's great. That's good to know. That's a little trick. That's a little trick for you guys. Yeah, no, so not anybody's boat there. We all got fuel. Anybody producing from Miami is gonna have fuel. Well, there's a young that's something that everybody wants down here. You don't wanna go yeah, to throw nobody out, yeah. but you don't wanna dump fuel <laughs> yeah, yeah, in right. other places. Yeah, because it's you don't wanna expensive. change filters, you you want to be consistent and have good life on your fuel. Oh, now that we're talking about fuel and you also do uh, the motors, you recommend rec, like, I know some people are kind of lazy to go get rec fuel. That all depends on the customer, but some people do rec 90, some people don't, and they add additives. Oh, okay. So, so the additives kind of help a little bit. Correct. All day long if you're not using rec 90. So, so you're, because I know the older manufacturers had a problem with the holes getting hard. You know. Yeah, the, but that was a type of holes. And it changed into that, but they fixed that problem. So then. now you don't have to worry as much. As for much that. for that. Oh, okay. So that's, that's something good to know. But yeah, something because... on the note that I haven't answered here have relates to the fuel. All the boats bring water tank also. They do have a fresh water oh, tank. Oh, cool. That's, that, that's what I like. How many gallons more or less? 25 and 30. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's, that's a lot. Good. Yeah, I, li I like the oh, People you... do want them. Yeah, yeah. I love the fresh water. I mean, I get customers that don't want no... They add in gas. Oh, okay. They don't want no fresh water. Ferris uh, has a question. He goes, hey, guys, what's up? I have a question on a, about a Yamaha 242. Is it good for oceans and waves? Oh, the, the 25 or the, the 30? I guess he put 242. I don't know if it's a typo, but it says uh, right here. It, says it about might be the a Yamaha, typo. The Yamaha 242. Oh, uh, well, that question doesn't really have to do with him. That, um, I Just mean. Just an experience thing, right? Yeah. On a personal basis. If yeah. it's a jet boat, I'm going to try to answer you. For the waves to go out to open ocean is not made for that. Yeah, it's, 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 you're gonna get banged around. Right. <laughs> so, uh, oh, talking about banging around, what's your beam on the boat? 9486 on the 25, 94 on the 31 footer. Wow, it's pretty wide. That's good. That's nice. What's, so it's that's stable. On, which is on this one? The 25? On the 25 footer, 86 on the 31 footer is 94. Oh, there's nine a four. question for the 31 footer. The fuel numbers on the 31 footer is, uh, is which um, with what motors? With twin 300 Yamahas, me on my personal boat, I get 1.8. 1.8. Oh, on the sweet spot. That was at a question. miles an hour. 
That was a question that by Twinkle. Rod, off yeah. at 58. Oh, that's okay. good. That's, that's awesome. Good. That was a question by uh, Twinkle Rod, by the way. I like your name, Twinkle Rod. So Twinkle I guess you're Rod. a fisherman, but why is the name Twinkle? Like, <laughs> Double I'm just meter. curious. What's the Twinkle? Only part? the ladies know. So, all right. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can take it both ways, Twinkle Rod. <laughs> so uh, we got about um, about 12 minutes left. Get your questions in really quick. Competitionboats.net. Follow these guys on Instagram if you don't already. It's Competition Boats. Uh, the phone number is three. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Say this phone the number is three zero five seven five three two three nine seven. I put it in the chat so you guys can scroll up. I put the address in there as well a couple times. So. Okay, let's say I live Texas and I don't want to. I don't want to waste my money calling you long distance. Can I ask you questions through the Instagram on the DM? Waste the money. Okay, yeah. so there you go, guys. Drop if you guys don't want to call my app, well, hi, Ali or my app. I don't run my own Instagram and oh, okay. Facebook. My okay, so my team. real report, he does that for me. Okay, yeah, you can answer. Him. Give, give him, I guess, send him a message through Instagram. I mean, my wife gets in there once in a while, and I do post once in a while. On a He's old school basis. like me. Old school. Yeah, like me. I did the rap when I had a useful no paper. No computer, screen. no nothing. So, yeah. So, anyway, if you want to ask him questions, you don't want to waste the money on the call, go ahead, DM him on the Instagram. Your phone number, yeah. And or then text me. Text is free. Oh, text is free. Oh, that's no, true. No, text. Text is free. Oh, yeah. Okay. Text him, and he'll and call you I'll back. And then I'll call you back. Yeah. So, if you have questions, you know, text him, and he'll call you back. Here's a good question. Do the boats come with trailers? I mean, yeah. they don't come with trailers. I sell the package without the trailer, but I do provide trailers at all times. That was a good question. No, Always. Here, you, got, you can't forget about it because it's sitting back here. And yeah. back to the calling so they're not scared. There's a million apps that are free like WhatsApp. Oh, you can reach out WhatsApp. All day long. Oh, there you go. So don't be afraid if you, you know if you want to save the Viber, money. I do Australia through Viber. I do all the Bahamas through Viber. There you go. I never heard of that one. Yeah, <laughs> because Australia only has that one. Oh, okay, cool. So there you go. You they have all the way. WhatsApp, uh, at least for what I know now. Oh, okay. But I did. I dealt with them through Viber. Oh, okay. So whatever app you have that do long distance, you could try to reach them on that, and then you know. Yeah, you know, get him some questions there. Any more questions? Let me know. Uh, double axle trailers. Uh, I'm assuming. Torch and axles with brakes. With Along brakes. In Florida. Esteban Gomez says, "What's up, Fresco?" Oh, what's up, man? Thank you. Thank you for on the live stream. All right. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Does, uh, yeah. So high voltage climber asks the same thing about trailers. Yes, it's an, uh, the, you offer it. Uh, let me see. Oh, by the way, <coughs> by the way, guys, let me know on the audio because I know last time we had a big problem because there was a air conditioner next to the to the we're doing it so let me know about the audio how is it today is it better is it worse let me know about the audio i would like to know well, my personal question we know the we know the feed is a little sketchy today so we're yeah the, the recession i can't help that because it's, believe it or not it is raining already here in uh, hialeah like always shout out to uh bomb master 88 from Pen uh, pensacola what's up brother so let me get more uh, more questions because we're about to uh, you know close it off because he does minutes. this yeah. is a working shop and he has to go back to work and it's a Monday. So yeah. it's a Monday, so you know you gotta get things done. So let me know a few more questions. If not, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take it off off the live. So let me know if anybody comes in, you know, yeah. real quick. And remember again, competition boats, check them out. Dot net. Uh, dot net. His name is Manny. Uh, you can, are always. You know, you can talk to him. Like I said, if you want, you don't want to, you know, do that. Go ahead and do it through our Instagram. He'll try to get back to you back to you as soon as he can i went ahead and put the address on the chat right now i just put it in there so i put the address and his phone number to the shop in the chat multiple times so you guys just look for me and i'll be on there and you guys get his information i think we got two more questions and i think we're gonna wrap it up go ahead what was the question uh basically that was me typing in that you saw and okay. then <laughs> they said that the audio is great fresco okay thank uh, you. thanks for taking the time guys everybody saying thank you i thank guess you we you're welcome answer. always um, uh, uh, that was from Arabelto Rosa. Let me see, Justin, stay safe and stay dry. We'll try. So I have a lot of I have a lot of local followers because I know right now a lot of people are working and they don't watch the live stream, but they go home and watch it. So if you're watching this when you're home already and at like six o'clock in the afternoon, go ahead. You know you can still call them up. You know not at six o'clock, but maybe call them up the next day and have questions. Or maybe if you're here locally, you come by his shop and check it out. If you like the boat, you know. Yeah, the, the beautiful thing about these live streams is to have it here and now. Every month, every Monday we do live streams from one to two but these videos stay live so you guys can still get educated still um you know some of the questions we might not be able to answer because obviously it's not live but if you watch the whole footage your question might be asked from a past viewer and you guys could always get the information because it's always going to be on youtube okay so this yeah there's something that I stay I, I, I leave on the video forever i mean on, the, on youtube forever so you, like i said if you're watching this a week from now go ahead Come by the shop or call him up and you know and he'll be here and uh juan juan says thank you guys for answering all the questions for the guys that are new boat owners and that really don't know about boats this is good this is why we can do it 
So uh, I guess uh, that's it. We're going to wrap it up because he has to go back to work. And I have to go back to work, and we got to keep going. But thank you, guys. And this is Manny from Conversation Bros. Manny! Give him a call. Pleasure. And Instagram, website, everything. He'll try to answer you when he can. Because remember, he's, he's here working. He actually gets dirty here. Yeah. You know, he's old school like me. I get dirty when I'm in work. And if you guys like all this stuff, give Manny, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share this if you haven't already. And uh, no, thank you all guys All right, thank watching. you, guys. And see you guys next Monday. Have fun. They want to know if you're selling your boat. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, uh. thank you.